Hi everyone, welcome to another Model Assumptions video. This is the fourth in the series, I think. Is it the fourth or the fifth? Again, I've taken your assumptions from Instagram. As you know, every video I like to have a guest um, to help me answer these assumptions. So I answer three and um, the guest assumptions the guest answers three, there we go. So this week's guest is a model called Amelia Brown. She is the loveliest girl. Um, I've met her quite a few times. She's so lovely, she's so beautiful. She's literally like, her face doesn't even look real. She's so stunning. Amelia is signed with established models in London. I'm so happy she wanted to be a part of this video and help me answer these assumptions. Yeah, hopefully you find her and my opinions helpful interesting as i've said before these are just our opinions again they might not apply to every single model out there um because we can't really generalize the whole model industry so the first assumption i've got to answer says models get everything paid for so i'm going to answer this in terms of like our expenses so i guess like travel accommodation food no that is not correct we do not get everything paid for i'm going to answer this from my experience and i think this is like pretty much the same for everyone you normally don't get your travel paid for if you're going somewhere for a casting if you're going for a go see if you're going like on placement somewhere i don't think you get your travel paid for the only time you really get like your expenses paid for in terms of travel and accommodation is if you've had a like direct booking for a job even then if it's like somewhere in your city normally you won't get like your train fares covered like to the location i've never had my trains paid for but say you're traveling like further away maybe to a different city then i think you would get your trains paid for if you're traveling abroad for this job normally you get your fares paid for and if you need to stay in a hotel overnight or for a few days normally that is covered as well if you're booked directly for a job there so i flew out for a job i've booked in italy normally the client would pay for the flight in that hotel. I haven't done that many jobs like abroad and stuff or in different locations and that but when I have I've had my food paid for as well the majority of the time like say you'll be there for dinner they normally will cover your dinner or will let you get room service and bill that to them. I don't think that's all the time. If you're on set all day normally there's like catering there'll be like lunch options or breakfast when you get there but maybe once you leave the job it'll be like in your hands to pay for your own food. Yeah I think that kind of covers it like that's the only time you'll really get all your expenses paid for and say you're going to another country to stay there for a while like a month or two and see if you get any work i don't think your travel gets paid for then either i think you have to pay for your own flights and accommodation and you've just got to hope that you make it back with the money you earn um, whilst you're out there that makes sense so a lot of the time agencies won't send girls somewhere they don't think they'll get work or enough money to cover their expenses hi morgan youtube and thank you morgan for having me on the first question i have to answer about your assumptions on models is models don't enjoy getting their hair and makeup done personally for me i would have to disagree with this statement purely because i absolutely love my hair and makeup being done going into work and always having a totally different look is really exciting you also really get to know the person who's doing your hair and makeup so I do really enjoy my hair and makeup being done but obviously I can't talk for every model but for me I would have to disagree with that statement. The second assumption I've got to answer says models have only one pathway e.g. only one way or only commercial. No that doesn't apply to all models it could apply to some but definitely not all. You can do both. Sometimes your agency will want you to stick to a particular route a particular type of fashion just depending on what kind of way they see your career going different sorts of potential they see in their models. Some girls will only do commercial stuff they might do ASOS four times a week and that'll be the that they might do some like other ecom stuff it kind of depends like what type of look you have what kind of route you want to go down as well as what kind of route your agency think will be best for you and some girls will only do like high fashion stuff they'll do like the shows and then campaigns and editorial stuff everyone's different everyone has different preferences some models prefer just to do ecom stuff and some girls will like to do more creative shoots like editorials and um, be in magazines it's not true that you can can only do one thing because there are models that like dip in and out of different types of modeling and it works for them 
Models get trained to walk in heels. Yes, this assumption is true. Models do get taught how to walk in heels. They don't expect you to be able to just walk in heels there and then. They will show you and teach you and help you to perfect your walk. So yeah, this assumption is true. The last assumption I've got to answer kind of ties in a bit with the first assumption. It says models have to pay for their portfolio. If you don't know what a portfolio is, it's basically a selection of images you have had taken that represent you as a model. So the agency will use these images to send to potential clients, to send to photographers, to send to whoever wants to see what you look like basically. And these photos can also be in your like physical book that you take to cast things that cast and directors see and clients see and stuff like that. If you're with a reputable agency they should never make you pay for stuff like that. They should never make you pay for your book. There are like some scam agencies out there and dodgy agencies that will make you pay like £5,000 for this book of standards images they'll shoot with their camera and tell you that it's an investment but your portfolio can be made up of all different types of images it can be made up of editorial images you've done for magazines they can be made up of test shoot images and um, whatever your agency think best fits your look and what is best for your book and some test shoots you as the model will pay for or they'll get put on your account and these test shoots can be because you kind of need them images they will benefit you in the long run like having these really strong images that the agency have more control over they can tell the photographer or the team what kind of style of images they want the styling of you like your hair your makeup your clothes and stuff like that they have a little bit more creative control over it rather than just the photographer so yes you kind of pay for your portfolio if you're doing paid test shoots um, but a lot of test shoots are just free and them images can be used in your book as well. It really depends what sort of images you have in your book, how badly you need like a refresh for your book or whether your agency think the images from just normal tests or editorials are good for your book. Sometimes you might be paying for your portfolio and other times it might just be made up of lots of free images. If that makes sense, yeah. A really strict diet, so for me, I'd say this assumption is neither true or false. I would say every model out there is different. Some will have strict diets and some won't. And this could be down to their metabolism or the type of modeling they do. But in my case, I don't have a strict diet. I like to eat healthy, but I also like to treat myself now and again. So for me, this assumption is not true. There are all the assumptions answers for this video. I really hope you enjoyed hearing mine and Amelia's views on these type of assumptions. Again, if you have any more assumptions, just let me know on Instagram. But again, thank you so much to Amelia for being in this video. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!